wealthy man. But he always used to say, you know, he would, whatever business decisions he had to make or business crises he had, he always related it back to, to Rack because he grew up in that environment. He was, he was himself was a player. He was coaching at the Bulls. So he, he had a huge background of, of coaching and, and, and rugby. So he always said to us that whenever there's a problem in his business, he always used to, to relate it back to, to rugby. If there was a problem, and how did he solve that problem on the rugby field? You know, was it, were we underprepared? Were we, you know, um, did you study the opponent enough? Uh, where, where did we come short? Was, did we not, you know, have a good preseason? What do we need to change? Is it personnel that needs to be changed? And he said all that knowledge that he picked up in rugby and his coaching career, he just basically all those fundamentals he brought and took over to his business and, and you know, it worked for him. You know, and I try and do it now and again, but it's, it's, it's still hard, but it, it does work. I mean, I think all the principles of rugby uh, works in all work, walks of life.